Hi guys and welcome to another the beginner experience video. This video after the one on the basics and the characters will be around the events. Events are the way that your character is able to get rings or legendary essence or cures and eventually XP orbs. So let's go one by one uh, today is sunday and on sunday all the events are open while from the rest of the week as you may see here every day you will have one event starting on monday with mystical archive then essentially power on tuesday then absolute energy then land of the living and so on and so on and so on until on sunday you will get the bunch of them so you, basically we are saying that uh, every event will recur twice each week one which is on his let's say designated day designated day which is let's say mystical archive will happen on monday and on sunday uh, so you are expecting to get at least if you are talking about rings uh, double what you get from a single run and let's go deeper and uh, with my personal suggestion about how to run those events i will suppose that you are able to run uh, beside the legendary lord of the living one you are able to run all the fifth the, the, the five nodes that are available here and that's pretty easy to do if you are uh, on a gear six or eight so that that's not something that you have to be scared about and you have if you have issues on bidding those events just uh, write something in the comment and i will suggest you a team composition with a free to play characters that will allow you to bid those events um, i will go on uh, the character that is best to get or farm or whatever uh, in the next episodes so uh, just bear with me for today uh, it's Sunday, so I suppose that I wanted to talk about this uh, in deeper today. So, the best one, uh, this node will give you, and it's the same for the villain one and the hero one, will give you the rings. And the order is one green, one green and blue, one green and red, one blue and red, and the whole big one, blue, red and white or black life is white black is death yada yada so if you are able to complete all those events i will suggest you that um, you will probably need if you are uh, in a gear 8 45 or 50 level character you will need a lot of green rings and a bunch of blue rings you will have more than you need of those red ring so my suggestion is to run just this node until you start needing the the white or black rings because they are only available from the last node so when you will get to use those life and death rings uh, i suggest you, that you run the fifth node and the second node ignore the rest because the game will give you enough red rings to buy you an house with red rings and if they will ever give us any chance to trade rings you will know that everyone is going to trade his red ring for whatever i will trade two red rings for one of the other type today just hold my red rings give me blue instead so just run the second node and the fifth one as I was talking before, I have 13, 13 life energy, 15 blue energy ring, and 500 red rings. <laughs> so, and I'm not running the, the other nodes, and 20 of those. So you may get where I'm saying that red rings are more than enough that you want. And these two nodes are the one that can give you uh, the best of your energy 
it's been told that this one will give you more blue rings in the long run. I won't take the risk running this because basically this one can give you the same exact rings, just the opportunity to have one life or death for the villains one. So if you want to run something, just run the fifth one or the second one. Green and blue or blue, red and the special one, life or death. In the Lord of the Unliving, you will be able to get the precious legendary essence gems or call it like you want. And this is a no brainer. If you have the characters to run, you just run the highest node possible because the reward is just is the same and it just increases as much as you go with the nodes. So you just run the highest possible that you can and go on with that. When you are able to run the, the last one, you just run that. You There is no point in uh, running anything else. And uh, this way, this uh, event, is the best way to gather your legendary essence. Don't fall to the, I have to call them like this, scam of buying this legendary essence offer because you will spend 7,000 gems to get 10,000 legendary essence, okay? While if you are able to run this one, I will run it quickly just because I want to show it. I've got 800, 800, 800. So I got 2,400 for free and if i want to refresh the play which is the way that you should spend your gems i spent let's say i want to get uh, all those 10000 gems how many times do i have to run this one just four which means 400 gems will net you 10000 legendary essence there's no point in spending 7k with that pack. Again, and the last one is the gear. You have to understand that the, the drop rates for the gear are guaranteed only for the very first three nodes, because in this node you will get for sure just gear, level one gear and level one XP orbs. In the node three, you will get the two gear, level two gear and level three orbs. While in all the other, you are not guaranteed to get those gear. What I mean is that here you can get a mixed output of level two and level one with level two orbs. And in this one, you may get level two and level three gear, you guess it right, with level four orbs. And in this one, you are not guaranteed to get anything. You will get 11 gear just randomly selected from level 3 gear. Which means that if you are looking for this one, which are this scarcest one here, as you may see, I have only 148, you may end up running this node, I will show you in a second, 10 times and get just 10 of them while you will get thousand and thousand and thousand of those. I will show you in a second, so bear with me. If you are going to gear up your guys, the best way to do that is to just run the first node, then the third node, and then the fifth node, based on which piece of gear you, do you need. If you just need the low level one, let's say you are leveling, um, let's say Killer Frost, okay? For Killer Frost, I don't need that many three level guys. So I will just run the one and three. If you are leveling this guy 
which doesn't even use the 3 1. There's no point in running the fifth node. Okay? Just run the first and the third one. So it's easier. And with the new uh, quality of life um, changes that they gave us, you may even check, uh, let me get someone who can upgrade this kit. Uh, you can even check where that gear drops. So if you go there and you want to know, let's say you want more of those level one, you will see where the gear is available. As I reach my gear part. Here, sorry. Uh, absolute energy 2 and absolute energy 1. It's guaranteed in 1 and not guaranteed in 2, but you will have a higher chance to get those. So, going back to this, just run the first node, which will give you 29 pieces of gear assorted by the fourth one available here just run this one which will give you i think 21 between this and then just run this one if you can if you why it's better to run this one um, because you will get the xp orb which are way needed when you are leveling up your character a point may be uh, taken and it's a good point in um, making us notice that uh, in the fifth node the gear is not guaranteed and they only drop um, I think 11 piece of gear let's check it yeah so it's 11 piece of gear and as you may notice I got one or two type of gear two of the good one and just seven of the one that I don't need at the moment. Um, and if I run this again, as you may notice, the fourth one is the one that is scarcest. So it always went good for me. This, Okay, and this is what can happen. As you may have noticed, in this run, I didn't get two types of gear. So if you are running to get some piece of gear, uh, you are not guaranteed. So someone says, why not, if it's not guaranteed, why not run this one? You will get a little bit more of gear. You will get mixed up level two and level three and the XP orb for level four are good to use. While this three one is the worst ratio of applying the XP orb. So you will just run the node 1 and the node 4 for the level 2 and level 3. Okay? It may be an option, uh, but on the long run, uh, you will hold up the wrong kind of materials. So uh, I did this uh, when I was starting the game and I was running the first and the fourth node. Uh, and it's good because I will just refresh here. Uh, you will see that I will drop a bunch of level 2 and a bunch of level 3. I'm happy. I just got um, 8 piece of level 3 gear in addition of this all level 2. So as you may have noticed, I've got uh, 8 level 3 and 3 C9, uh, 9 level 2. Uh, which is uh, 17 piece of gears, right? Compared to the 11 I got running the fifth node. Uh, but again, on the long run, it's better just to run this one for the XP orb and the level three gear, which is way scarcer than the two. Because when you will run the third node of the gear two, you will get more of that gear and it will just be better. The same reasoning applies to all the other gear event, uh, which is the blue. Again, uh, this kind of gear will be the scarcest, and uh, this kind of gear will be the scarcest, uh, depending on where you are leveling for. While you will have a bunch of the other two, and this goes for all the levels. And this one is still 
the one that I have the less, while I have bunch and bunch and bunch of the other one. But it's just how the game works. Uh, it, it has to make you spend your resources in finding some gear which is rarer than the other. So the uh, source spark is the rarest of the blue gear, uh, while I've shown that um, this uh, Astro Force energy is the scarcest of the energy, and you guessed it right, the Ant piece, Ant Metal piece, is the rarest of this type of material. Uh, second is this one, which is the Inetron, and you know, it, it's, it's easier to understand when you start farming the gear. And again, here you want to farm the first, the third, and the fifth node. It's all common, and all characters will need the same kind of gear. And if you are not able to yet farm this first, this last node, because your character are not strong enough to uh, tackle it, because maybe here there's Doomsday killing you on the last node, or in the other one, in the blue, there's Bane killing you or whatever if you cannot do that just farm the first and the fourth until you are able to kill the first the fifth and so you will go for the let's say odd uh, nodes one three five and that's it those are the events that you are doing on sunday and every single day for your um for your gear grinding and ring grinding I will recap quickly. For the ring events, you want to do the second node, but to be honest, you will just run the fifth one. Because you may, if you are at a, a level 60, gear 10, you will just lock your blue rings and eventually the life in that one. Uh, so there's no point in hampering your. Um, your death and life ring uh, gathering uh, just by gathering the greens. The greens, you may farm them running the last nodes in normal mode, so of every chapter. So let's say I want to farm the greens. As you can see here, I have a chance to get one if I run this node. So nothing, nothing, and I got one. So there's no point, there is so many ways to get the green rings from here, from the legendary mission, as you may see here, I did get uh, completing 53 hero fragment, I will get 5 um, green ring, and you will get 1 completing your red alert. And completing your red alert means that you have to just start those battles, which means that you can get in, and concede, get in and concede, get in and concede until you have no other character to go. And the PvP is the same, you have to start those 27 battles. You don't have to complete or win those battles. And the 50, 53 Hero Fragments is achievable during the PvE nodes with the Alliance one, with the PvP one. So uh, every now and then, if you cannot complete it, just go here in the social part of the game and spend your, let's say, uh, Mega Arena pack or buy those Green Lantern, Green Arrow, whatever uh, pack from the Alliance. So, rings is uh, just the fifth node. If you need the green, just run the two. Two and fifth. This goes for the good guys here, which will give you life energy, and the villains, which give you death and green here, you have guessed right. For the Lord of the Unliving, just run the last one and never ever buy the offer in the shop. Same goes for all the other ring offers, they are not good. Uh, for the gear, just run node 1, 3 and 5 if you can. If you can't, because the fifth node is too hard for you at the moment, just run the first one and the fourth one. So, first one, which will give you the one level gear, and the fourth one, which will give you the level two and level three. 
and that's it i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was helpful for you and we will see in the next videos about some heroes farming and whatnot have a nice day bye